Hello, all you beautiful people out there. I hope you have had or are having a fantastic day if you're around here. Welcome. My name is Salam, the teenager who talks about teenage stuff because there simply isn't enough of it on the internet. Guys, today we have a little bit of an interesting video as you saw from the preview at the beginning. We're going to be going to an F1 in schools competition. So for those of you that don't know, the F1, this Formula One, has a little in-school competition. Well, I say little, it's a pretty big thing. It happens across the globe. But our school actually takes part in it and we have something called a preliminary round. It's, we're the first school in the UAE to host this preliminary round. So I'll be taking you guys along the journey. It happens tomorrow. The footage you saw at the beginning of the video was from today because we had rehearsals today. But tomorrow is actual race day. I'll get someone to film me. What I'm doing there is essentially hosting the interviews. I'm a person that's down there at the track live and I'm gonna be interviewing some of the team members. It's gonna be really fun. So hopefully I'll get one of my friends to kind of record me whilst I'm doing the interviews. I'll try and get a lot of footage from the races. I know you guys really wanna see that. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys tomorrow when we're at school at event. Please don't DOS me and come try and find me because that'd be weird. But hopefully we'll get some really good footage and I'll pop the link down below in case this gets recorded and you guys wanna watch the full thing, actually see me live interview. So that'll be sick, guys. See you there. Logan. Yes, I am. Just like that, through the magic of editing, we are in school. I like Edit crepes. Yeah. You, you like my what? I like your crepes. You like my crepes? Oh, my crepes. Well, I actually went, to, actually went to buy them yesterday. My shoes are fire, aren't they? I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, no. It's race day, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of exciting content. Plan my hand is probably shaky as all balls. This is Avi. Say hello to What's the up, lads. Say hello to the five viewers out there. <laughs> so we're walking into the place. My god, damn. Intense business. For anyone who's wondering, their weight is under. They're forty nine point three, so it's close, close, close to race number. You guys got it painted though, which not not for when. Yeah, yeah, but when do you guys get it painted? These people seriously got it painted today more. How? Like, was the guy like willing to? Yeah, this one goes where? Was the guy was the guy compliant? Did you have to bribe him? You have to bribe him. Yeah, he was like, he scammed you, so he yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. He asked for more. He asked for more. Hundred percent. Okay, they clutched up fifty point four on the weighing scale, and it rolls. Would you would you believe it? It rolls. Look at how happy they are. Damn. Yeah. So. One of the things that I haven't actually mentioned is what is this whole F1 in schools thing. So as you can see, it's a pretty big deal. It's actually licensed by F1. So, you know, it's got to be professional. And these kids are going to be racing. Like everyone you see behind me right now, like they've all been working really, really hard over the past four months to make a car that'll win. So as you can see on the track right here, it's essentially a straight and it's like a 10 meter straight. And they've made cards like or they've made cars on like um, Autodesk, I think it is and they 3D print them and then they race against each other. So the reason why it's such a big deal here is because it's the first time, hey Omar. The reason why it's such a big deal is because it's the first time that it's ever happened in the UAE, like out of school for a preliminary round. That's why like it's a, it's a pretty it's a pretty huge thing. But yeah, it's gonna be like 42 odd races. I'll see if I can get as many as possible, uh, but they're more or less the same thing. So there are seven teams, I think, 42 races in total. I'm just gonna be here standing interviewing uh, some of the team members and yeah it's gonna be my job but you know I've got math test in a couple days time haven't started studying for it whatsoever so it's gonna be really really interesting and we're underway excitement has built up we're just going the like biggest pep talk from the media executive here say again of course I'm making a YouTube video if I didn't make a YouTube video on this I'd have nothing else to do today so that'd be bad Shahmir, this is one of the button pressers. How are you feeling? Pre I'm, I'm feeling yeah. fine. What about why, you? Why you? What do you mean? What about me? All I'm gonna ask is how you're feeling today. That's about it. Oh, that is officially live. We are close. Yeah, the first race is about to take place. It's gonna be insane. That's where the cars are taking off from. You can see them set right there. Sick mates. And the first race is officially done. Oh my goodness, that was absolutely rapid. Both having sub two millisecond reaction times. And we're in Odyssey just clutching it out. 
their car is rapid. They've got one of the lightest cars here today, and it's it's fantastic. Like it's crazy. Everyone's buzzing. The atmosphere is great. Fantastic. Well done, to Emirates Odyssey. Let's get on to the other 41 races that we have planned today. Post race one, how are you feeling? Uh, nervous. All nervous. Nice. Are you guys? Are you guys? Are, who are you guys going against now? Uh, we're going against. 21 drivers? 21, the orange one, no? 21 drivers, okay, yeah, they're going against the, they're going against the orange car. It's pretty sick, I'm gonna lie. Setup is happening. Alright, let's see a two survey there. Absolutely fantastic stuff from Emirates Odyssey. They didn't have a, they had a DNF last round, so way to bring it back for the second round. They've got a blazing quick reaction now. I think that. 1.6 or sorry 0.169 reaction that's crazy so well done to them it's been a great day here so far should hopefully get a lot better how are we feeling lads how's the car looking wait i need a so intense intense one of the most difficult parts about this whole f1 challenge thing as talk runs by me is that you need to constantly be repairing your car so your cars are going under a lot of stress when they're being set flying at like 70 kilometers per hour by some CO, by a CO2 canister. So after every race, in case your car gets damaged, like with Emirates Odyssey, for example, and with many other cars, um, there have been 21 drivers, the thing is you need to be able to repair your car in time for the next race. So it's, it's super hectic, super quick. So yeah, big challenge for the teams here. Crazy stuff. Reaction time makes all the difference. Guys, this next race, these are the teams to be watching. Emirates Odyssey versus Alpha. For reference, these are the two fastest teams so far. So this is the real showdown. Who gets it? Who is the real winner? They're there celebrating. They get the win. Even though, oh my goodness. Even though Team Alpha had the faster reaction time. I'll zoom in. Team Alpha has the faster reaction time. Oi, oi, oi. But Emirates Odyssey getting that win. Yo, yo, their car just blew up. What the? Bro. Yeah, their car just blew up. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my god, completely shattered. That is not what you want to be seeing. That is definitely not what you want to be seeing. Their car just completely shattered. That is that is not what you want to be seeing at all. That is unfortunate. Yo, you can see there the damage on the car is crazy. Crazy. But on another note, I'm about to do interviews, so that's going to be quite interesting. We're going to be talking to all of the people, lovely people working in each of the teams, and hopefully it ends up... Hopefully it ends up going well. So yeah, I need to put my mask on. Yeah, so hopefully all things go as planned well. That car is in shambles, unfortunately. But oh well, luckily it was their last race. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Salam Olabar, and I'm down here live at EISJ's very own F1 track. I've had the opportunity to watch these races since the beginning, and calling them exhilarating would be a true understatement. Today, I'm going to have the opportunity to interview one of every team's members. And up first, we have a team member from Veloce. Just before we continue, a quick thank you to our sponsors, Alhub Tour Motors, without which this event would not be possible today. Thank you, Dev. Dev, you have come out on top today. All that hard work has led up to this amazing culmination. How do you feel your team did today, and how are you feeling right now? Uh, very happy, of course. I mean, we came first, something we didn't expect. And we're just happy to be here, of course, standing on the top of the podium. Of what course, it's amazing like seeing something that you've worked on for so long come to life here. Exactly. And F1 in schools has been happening for such a long time. Why did you decide to participate this year? What drew you Honestly, to it? Honestly, after, um, after seeing what was last year, it really got me motivated. And especially F1 being my dream sport, my sport that, I've been, that I grew up with. I'm like, let me give it a try. Maybe, uh, maybe I can get, maybe go up, maybe get a chance to do something really big. So um, that, that was really the main reason I joined. Of course, and I heard you're an F1 fan. Are you looking forward to the Bahrain GP oh, yeah, coming 100%. soon? Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah, start of the season, that's always exciting. Well, thank you so much, Muneeb, for your time. Thank you very up much. next, bro, we're you. going to have the final team, Team Volta. So just finished up with the interviews. I think they were really well. Hopefully I didn't stutter way too much because it was a little bit, little bit sketchy. Hopefully someone actually got those recorded. If not, I'll check back to see if the live stream had some stuff. Maybe I'll pull something on YouTube. 
other than that, went great. Event does seem to be over. Team Alpha coming out on top, Team Emirates Odyssey coming in second. It's a fantastic job. Congratulations to all the students out there. And here we see the sad remains of Team Emirates Odyssey's car. It still came out second though, <laughs> so despite having a car that's in shambles, you guys put in a hell of a performance. Congratulations. We're the first Formula One car to fly and win. Oh yeah. Oh, guys, by the way, predictions came true. You guys did take off. We did take off. You guys exactly. took off. You guys took off. Actually, My dad said it would fly. Yeah, if your car is hollow and weighs like three, like... No, it's tilted. It was... Oh yeah. Oh, guys, why did it, why did it actually explode? Like, why did it actually explode? The, the, the guys retarded. <laughs> oh, the guys? Okay, damn. They don't... Like, every day they mess with my tether, they don't buy your Oh, so they screwed up your tether? Okay, I see. Yes, Ahan. They came second place, yeah, which is a fantastic. So you guys, they made it to the nationals, which is great. There's some issues with the tether. Talks. Can you tether me to your soul? <laughs> and just like that, we are done. I'm back home in the familiar recording studio that you should potentially, hopefully, see behind me. What an event! Holy crap, I'm knackered. It was a long, long two and a half hours. But we're done. Fantastic. It went it went fantastic. Like holy crap. I couldn't have I couldn't have imagined that going that going better. Can I speak? Jeez, you can tell how tired I am. Couldn't have imagined that going better. Forgot to record an outro whilst I was in school, so I thought I'd give it a shot now. Hopefully you guys my like my recording uh, managed to get you guys a good sort of behind the scenes inside look as to what the event looked like. If you do want to go check out the event for yourselves, go check out my interviews. Uh, I'll put a link down below to the full live streamed event. Unfortunately, no one got any footage of me actually doing the interviews, so I'll probably have to pull them out of the recording. So they're not going to be the best of quality, but you'll get the gist. This video was about F1, not my interviews. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd appreciate it so much. If you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and remember to turn on your post notifications. Last I checked, I think we're one subscriber off hitting 300, which is absolutely phenomenal. I can't thank you guys enough for it. Without further ado, guys, I hope you had an amazing weekend. I hope you have an even better week ahead of you and I will see all of you later.